So welcome back to another FIFA 21 video. Today is going to be a big one because we are talking about official news. Yesterday EA did the official reveal trailer and I thought it was just going to be a little bit of an announcement, you know, just throw in a two minute trailer and that's it. But EA actually surprised me and they did list some crew mode features, some gameplay features and all that kind of stuff. So we need to talk about it today and what I'm going to say about this is I want to get hyped, I want to get excited, but after all these years of pain, I'm going to have to stay cautious until the game comes out because you never know how this game is going to turn out until you get it in your hands and put it in your console and after that day one patch comes. But anyway, the plan for today is just a little bit of a trailer breakdown, see if we can get anything out of it. We'll take a look at some new faces, some crew mode features, gameplay features, Volta features, all that kind of stuff. And that should be about it. So if you do enjoy, remember to leave a like for me. So even though we've got over 170,000 subscribers on this channel, we've still got a big majority of you guys watching the videos but not subscribed. If you want to know all the latest FIFA 21 news, this will be the best spot. Make sure you subscribe today and join the other side. Today's video is sponsored by OneFootball. OneFootball is the best app to get all the latest football news and live updates. They've got a new and improved app and they want you to try it out. It's cleaner, simpler and smarter than ever. Now this app is the only football app I've got on my phone because it covers everything. So if you want to try it out for yourself, make sure you use my link in the description. You can download it for free. So now it's time to take a look at the FIFA 21 official reveal trailer. I got rid of all that real life stuff that was in the trailer and I've just nailed it down to the game engine stuff and the gameplay footage that we saw in the trailer. Obviously I've got to slow it down a bit because of copyright and stuff. I can't play it in like full motion. So we'll just start off with this bit. I mean the fans don't look any different to FIFA 20. You're not going to notice much there. A lot of game engine footage here. And then you've got this thing as well with Mbappe doing a celebration, probably one of the new ones as well. And then you've got the cameraman not even focused on him. Like half of them are looking at some person in the stands or something, I don't know. But I don't know, they could have done better there. A few people have pointed that out with the cameraman and stuff. Moving on, let's see if there's anything different. We've got Joao Felix on the ball and he nutmegs the guy there. We've got Erling Haaland with a new face now. So uh, he has been scanned, I believe, or even just a custom face. I don't know what they've done with him, but... He is going to get a new face, a real face now, which is going to be good for all your career modes. And of course, if you're going to use him in Ultimate Team kickoff and stuff like that. Joao Felix back again. Don't know if that's any different, that face. Trent Alexander-Arnold banging in the free kicks. A few people have said that this is a new face because of the hairline changes and stuff. So I'm guessing that they did improve his face now for FIFA 21. We've got a new celebration for Mbappe. He's going to have the crying celebration, which is going to be completely toxic online. So get ready for that one. We've got a few Tifos there to take a look at. Nothing really changed. And then we've got the FIFA 21 uh, Ultimate Team pack opening thing, if I can just get to it. There we go. It's going to be pretty much the same. Might have a few different designs here and there, but... Yeah, it's just going to open up with the door and stuff, and you have the tunnel thing. And then you've got this new thing for Volta called Volta Squads. This one is going to be a new feature. It's going to be like maybe pro club sort of thing where uh, you can play with your friends online now. That was something that we did predict early on. And this was a needed change to Volta, but the problem is, is it going to save the game, mate? I don't think so. I'm not really hyped for Volta at all, even if they do add this thing in, because I'm still going to play crew mode and stuff. I didn't really enjoy Fever 20 Volta, so I don't know if I'm going to try out this one. Moving on, we've got some uh, new scenery for Volta as well. I'll talk about that later when I take a look at the actual pitch notes for Volta. And uh, there's Mbappe there looking pretty casual. We've got a clip there of Mbappe doing his thing. And here is a bit of FIFA 20 gameplay, or FIFA 21, sorry. I mean, it does look pretty much the same as FIFA 20. Take a look at that. I mean, nothing really different there. But let's go back to that little five-second clip. And uh, you can see that little arrow thing. I don't know if that's like an assistant or something, but it's telling you where the guys are going to run. But then there's a little bit of dodgy work here as well, because if you take a look at this collision thing here, Mbappe sort of runs straight through him. Like, out of all the clips he could have put in this trailer, why would you put that? Because it just looks a little bit dodgy right there as well. And I know this is probably like pre-release gameplay or something, but it just looks pretty dodgy. It reminds me of what they did last year when the hand went through the knee in the FIFA 20 trailer. I mean, that's not good defending at all. But anyway, I noticed the little arrow thing. Don't know what that is at the moment. Probably some sort of assistant. And Bar pays through on goal, takes the shot and scores. And you've got one of his uh, celebrations there where he lies down and the cameramen don't even look at him. Next up, we move on to Haaland meditating on the pitch. But behind him is a nice little career mode tease and it's called career mode sim now i'll go into this further when i take a look at the pitch notes later but this is going to be visual sim in career mode it is returning which is a good thing because i've been banging on about it for the last three four years now and it was an old feature in old fifa games but it's come back now and we'll talk about that later but harland once again doing his celebration that's going to be in the game as well with a new face on him as well so that's pretty cool and then we move on to some extra bits here trent alexander arnold's face right there i mean it does look pretty new to me harland there 
Uh, not sure about Mbappe if he's got a real face or not, or updated face, sorry, but there is a bit of sweat on the guy, slash rain. Joao Felix right there, Alexander-Arnold banging in the free kicks once again, and then I think we are good to go. So this is the next bit, this is Ultimate Team Co-op, that's going to be a new feature as well, which we'll talk about soon. So that's a new thing there, and then we've got Kantana, which is going to be a icon in FIFA 21 now as well. Now this one was an interesting one, and it might sound a bit ridiculous, but you've got this replay slash rewind feature, which I think could be a new feature in the game. I haven't got any like hints on this at the moment, but it looks like something that could be in the game because maybe you know if you want to go back to something like in a in a game, you know, like those racing games where you can have like flashbacks and stuff. Maybe in FIFA they're going to add the flashback feature where if you miss a shot or you miss a penalty, then you can hit the rewind button and take that penalty again. I don't know if that's going to do anything, but I don't know. It was in the trailer, so it looks like something that could be in the game. It sounds ridiculous, but it could be in there. Just keep that in mind. Next up, we have some PSG guys uh, happy there, Alexander Arnold and Van Dijk. I think Van Dyke's got a new face as well now, or an updated face. Uh, you can see the hairstyle is a little bit different. Got Dorman celebrating there. Atletico Madrid celebrating. Mbappe with the shot once again. And then you've got the PSG players doing some sort of dance. And uh, I don't know if that's new. Probably is something new. And then that's pretty much your official reveal trailer. But there is a few things we need to talk about outside of the trailer. So there's three new faces in this screenshot. One on the left is Marcao. Then we've got Dubois, and then we've got Lopez as well from Lyon. We've also got a face update, I believe, for Firmino. You can see in that photo there, he looks sort of different, so I think that's a new face for him. Here is a better look at the Van Dyke update, and unfortunately, it looks like Mane is still going to look the same. I don't know if they're going to update that, but he still looks the same to me in that photo. And then we've got Lodi from Atletico Madrid getting a new face now as well. And then in the Volta screenshot... Inter and AC Milan are promoted on the scoreboard, which could mean that EA has some sort of deal with them now. If you remember, they recently left Pez, so they could have come over to FIFA and signed an exclusive partnership with them as well, so keep that in mind. But the stadium is called Volta Milano, so maybe because both clubs are from Milan, they've decided to use them, so maybe we're looking too much into it. And here is a look at another new Mbappe celebration coming in, where he lays on the ground, just chilling, you know? So now it's time to take a look at official FIFA 21 new features. This is on EA's website, officially announced. I'm going to read all this so you don't have to. So the first bit is this Winners 1 stuff. We saw that image before. And we've got five pillars to take a look at today. Gameplay, career mode, ultimate team, unrivaled authenticity, and Volta. No pro clubs was mentioned here today, so keep that in mind. Another image here, we've got Chelsea with the new kit, Man City with the new kit as well. And that arrow thing again, so... I don't know if this is just like a, an assistant or they're trying to show you like artificial intelligent runs or something. I don't know, but I keep seeing that over and over now. But anyway, let's start with the gameplay stuff. FIFA 21 rewards you for your creativity and control all over the pitch. Create more scoring opportunities with all new dynamic attacking systems in the most intelligent FIFA gameplay to date. Now, every year they promise the same stuff, and when you pick up the controller, the gameplay feels trash. So, whatever I read here today for the gameplay, keep in mind, uh, it might not be translating well into the game. Explode past defenders with the new agile dribbling system. Faster footwork gives you more control and responsiveness in one-on-one -on -one situations, and new skill moves like the bridge dribble and ball roll fake turn provide you with the means to explode past defenders. Now, I do not want to see a dirty pace player catching up with Mbappe in this game. New positioning personality raises the importance of positional awareness. World-class forwards will hold their runs to stay level with the last defender to stay on side. Playmakers will hunt for space to operate between the lines, while the best defenders will close down passing lanes more effectively to make it harder for the opposition to create opportunities. Creative runs gives you new options for influencing your team's movement off the ball, revolutionizing attacking build-up play in FIFA 21 and providing you with more ways to break down the defense. In FIFA 21, key footballing moments including goal mouth scrambles, battles for possession in the midfield and attacking duels will resolve more naturally than ever before, resulting in smoother encounters between players as they strive to reach the ball. Informed by feedback from the community, revisions to the fundamentals of football in FIFA raise the game throughout the pitch. With manual headers, more balanced blocking, more intelligent passing and increased responsiveness, giving you more control on and off the ball. Replicating the playstyle of the best FIFA players in the world, the competitor mode setting gives your opposition a better grasp of skill moves, dribbling types and tactics to give you a more challenging and rewarding opponent to match up with on Legendary and Ultimate Difficulty. Now, Ultimate Difficulty is already a bit of a shambles given, you know, the fourth division team can beat Barcelona. But I'll be interested to see what this competitor mode is all about. It's probably going to be more OP 
then, uh, you know, this ultimate difficulty. Of course, more information is coming in August, full reveal coming in August for gameplay. But now, my friends, is the golden section of this webpage. Career mode, boys, we've got some information. The first thing you're going to notice is Visual Sim. This is what it's going to look like. There is an option to Quick Sim as well, but Visual Sim gives you a few extra things. You can resume, you can jump into the match, so it'll load up the match at the same time and you can finish off the match if you want to. If you want to make changes, there is a team management section there. So this is like the old feature in old career modes from like 2008, and they've brought it back finally. After so many years of complaining about it, I don't have to have this in my videos anymore. So on the left, you've got Liverpool. On the right, you've got uh, Dortmund. 35 minutes in, Dortmund 1-0 up. You're going to have dots on your screen as well, which will resemble the clubs and that, and it'll be like, like Football Manager, I guess, where you can follow the dots with the ball and stuff. You've got your bench. And you've got your lineup so you can make changes. You've got your stamina, rating, stats, and game plan. You can check all that. Goal scorer right there. And that looks pretty promising. I'm happy with that. Career mode. Manage every moment. New additions create additional depth in matches, transfers, and training to give you more control over your team's rise to the top. Experience a whole new way to play out your season with the new interactive match sim. Jump in and out of matches to influence the course of the action or take charge of key moments including penalties and free kicks to change the outcome of the match. That's pretty cool. So if there's a penalty, you can actually take the penalty in the visual sim or even a free kick. So that could definitely, you know, make a difference. Monitor match data and make changes directly from the sim based on the match stats and your players' performance levels and stamina. Manage your players' development in greater detail with a revamped growth system. Turn right backs into right wingers, defensive midfielders into centre backs. Thank you, EA. Finally, positional training and more to fill gaps in your team. And monitor player attribute changes during training to see how your squad is progressing. That is pretty cool. Get more insight into your squad's performance levels with match sharpness, a new attribute that indicates how likely your players are to perform in the most crucial moments during the course of a game. Increase your player's sharpness with a new active training system that gives you the ability to set up group training sessions to improve the likelihood of your strikers putting big chances away or defenders making key tackles. Group training sessions, another thing a lot of people wanted. I don't know how this is going to look at the moment, but sounds pretty promising. Plan your team's training schedule with a new activity management system. Decide when to train and when to rest during the week as you balance your player's sharpness with morale and fitness to make the difference between winning and losing. Okay, that's pretty good. Enhanced opposition AI sees opponents approach games with more intelligence in both defense and attack. New systems create more informed AI decision-making in marking, tackling, passing, and dribbling to present you with more challenges during each match and keep your career fresh from game to game. So in reality, you know, this should feel like a, a good experience because every team that you verse should feel different now. FIFA 21 crew mode enhances transfer realism by providing both human and AI controlled teams with new ways to sign players. Make loan to buy offers. Oh my goodness, it's back boys. With optional or mandatory future transfer fees to secure new talent for your team. It's back. And respond to AI manager initiated player swap proposals as you look to master the transfer market. So now you can even get an offer from another team saying, we'll give you Mbappe if you give us Messi or something like that. So that's going to be good as well because it just adds a new element to transfers. Customize your crew mode with the new initial setup options. Get a more true to life experience of negotiating signings on the transfer market with authentic transfers or boost your team's starting budget to help you build your squad with financial takeover. So it looks like you can pick financial takeover now if you want to at the start menu of career mode. Anyway, we're going to get more information in August. So it looks like there's even more to come with career mode. So just reading off that, man, that, that that's pretty good, man. I'm happy with that. But of course, it's not the complete package. We, we need a lot more things like sponsors, staff. Uh, I, I forgot everything else, but you can go and watch my videos. There's a lot of things EA needs to do to you know make career mode great again. But this is a good start. I'd love to see how it looks in the menus and all that. Hopefully, they did change the menus. And uh, I don't know. Is this going to be the same thing on next gen, or are we going to get more features on the next gen version? I don't really know at the moment. But crew mode so far, pretty promising. But we don't know if this is going to be the complete package yet. Too early to call. Now, moving on to FIFA Ultimate Team, we've got Kantana announced as a new icon. Win together, get rewarded together. Enjoy a brand new way to play the most popular mode in FIFA as you build your dream squad of players past and present in FIFA 21 Ultimate Team. Foot Co-op lets you team up with a friend and compete for rewards. Join forces in both division rivals and squad battles to earn weekly progress and work towards brand new co-op objectives that reward playing together beyond winning on the pitch. So yeah, you can play Ultimate Team 
with a friend now or something, and you can go into division rivals and squad battles and stuff. Make your foot club truly unique with a range of new and expanded ways to customize your team's look both on and off the pitch and in the stands. One foot club. If you upgrade to the next gen console using dual entitlement, you can take your foot club from PS4 to PS5 or Xbox One to Xbox Series X and back again with cross-gen transfer markets and leaderboards in Foot21. So the transfer markets will work between PS4 and PS5. Now consoles without a disc require digital purchase of entitlement to upgrade. So yeah, you have to buy the digital version if you're going to get the PS5 without the disc. Full reveal coming in August. So crew mode actually got more info than Ultimate Team. I mean, that's a promising sign, isn't it? Volta Football, oh my goodness, the forgotten mode. More ways to play, more customization, more locations. Experience the soul of the streets together with friends as you show off your style in cages and courts around the world for our various forms of small-sided football. Experience a more social street football with Volta squads. A new way to join together with up to three friends or drop into the community with other Volta football players and winners one in 5v5 online co-op play. So it looks like you can do online play now with other people around the world. Play with new game pacing, intelligent squad movement, and more rewarding one-on-one -on -one situations on both sides of the ball in gameplay. Okay, that's good to see that they've improved the gameplay because I wasn't really a fan of the Volta gameplay. Customize your male or female avatar with new apparel from pro football clubs, street football collectives, and celebrity designed collections. Recruit the biggest names from the world of football and beyond to your Volta squad in featured battles. Match up against AI-controlled star players as well as squads from Volta community and compete for points and rewards. Step into the party atmosphere of Sao Paulo's downtown. Bring out the flair on the concrete of a Milan street pitch or show off inside a stunning high-tech Dubai geodesic dome as you flaunt your skills in five brand new football playgrounds. Full reveal coming in August for that. And then we've got the unrivaled authenticity thing. With 700 plus teams, 17,000 plus authentic players, and 30 official leagues, FIFA 21 is unmatched. So taking a look at the licenses, you've got your standard stuff here. Don't notice anything too different. It's going to have more than 90 stadiums. I don't know what the current number is for FIFA 20, I forgot. But uh, yeah, it's got pretty much the same stuff as FIFA 20. There's a photo of Harlan right there. Now in terms of icons, it's going to have over 100 icons this year. So FIFA 21 will have a lot more icons than FIFA 20. And uh, Premier League, what does it say here? Are we getting VAR? It doesn't say anything about VAR, so probably not. Basically, it says we're going to get 2021 kits and logos and an authentic broadcast commentary and pre-match choreography package. Serie A is going to be the same thing again. Piemonte Calcio is still going to exist in FIFA 21. It says there's going to be pre-match atmosphere and stuff. I don't know what that means at the moment, but it doesn't say anything about like a league scan. Maybe it's too early to break the news for that. And then it says FIFA 21 will include exclusive HD licenses for some of the world's greatest football league competitions, including the EFL, Mexico's Liga, Japan's uh, J-League, and Major League Soccer. It will also include authentic licenses for the Chinese Super League, Dutch League, and more. So yeah, I don't really notice anything too different here, but that's pretty much all the information they announced. More news will be coming in August when they go in depth with the pitch notes for each game mode. So I'm excited with crew mode. Man, that was pretty good to see a lot of crew mode stuff, and we're not used to seeing that kind of thing. So I'm very happy with that. But obviously, August will tell us the full details for it. All right, so the FIFA 21 cover star has been revealed, and it is Mbappe, so that is confirmed stuff. EA also released the images of the three covers. So we've got the Standard Edition, the Champions Edition, and the Ultimate Edition. So before we even take a look at them, I just want to say that they've gone with an interesting approach this year. I think they've decided to use a Year 6 Arts class as their marketing team for this year because the covers are nothing like you've seen before. So this is your FIFA 21 Standard Edition. This is what you're going to see at the shops when you're walking by. And I don't know what to say. It does look sort of modern, like a different take on it, but it does look retro at the same time. I don't know how to really describe it because I think it's going to take a bit of time to actually grow on me. At the moment, it's definitely not my favorite version of a FIFA cover. It just looks like some sort of collage that someone from Year 6 would do for their art assignment. I saw this version which I think looks much better. They've just blew up the middle photo on it and it just makes the whole cover stand out more like, check out that photo, it looks absolutely sick and the colors really pop and stuff and you can see the passion with Mbappe. Just take the middle photo, blow it up and your cover has improved already. All right, we move on to the Champions Edition which is gonna be basically the extra pre-order thing and this one is gonna be in line with the Champions League sort of thing so that's why they're promoting that cover. Uh, he's got the Champions League patch on it as well and it's basically similar to the standard edition just with different images and um, yeah, I don't know if I like it once again. 
Just take the middle photo, blow it up, and I think it could look a bit better. This collage stuff doesn't really make anything stand out. It's going to take a little time to grow on me. I guess the covers don't really mean much after a week or two anyway, but I don't know. I just don't like it, but the worst of them all is the Ultimate Edition one. I prefer not to speak. prefer really not to, um, not to speak. If I speak, I am in, in big trouble. This is your Ultimate Edition one, and it reminds me of FIFA 95 soccer cover. It looks retro. I guess they're going for a more retro look. Actually, I think the right word is lifestyle. I think they're promoting this game as some sort of lifestyle thing. I don't know. This one, I don't like at all. Why is this cover about a guy going for his morning walk? It looks like something you would see on a JD Sports website. It looks like some sort of mixtape cover or something. It's just a five minute job, man. Anyone could have done this one. But anyway, let me know what you think about any of these covers. I tried to make it a little bit funny. I did enjoy looking at the memes on Twitter and stuff. Leave a comment. What do you think of all these covers? All right, so we are on the EA website. Let's take a look at some info about the cover star. At the forefront of the next generation, Mbappe is the FIFA 21 cover star. So they've gone with this young guy to carry the next gen, carry the next gen of football covers and FIFA games, I guess, because it's coming out on the next gen consoles as well. A little bit of info about Mbappe there. Humble beginnings as always. And you got your three covers. I mean, he's just going for a walk, mate. He's just walking in the street. It probably means some sort of lifestyle slash Volta street sort of stuff. But man, that, that's got to go. If we had to play a game of one gotta go, it's gotta be that cover. You've got your in-game evolution from FIFA 17, 71 overall to foot 20, 89 overall. Obviously, this guy has had a fantastic run the last couple of years. He's only gonna get better as well. But if you are interested in foot evolutions, I do do that on my Instagram. Follow Vapex Karma for foot evolution content. And then there's a bit of info about the guy here. You want to read it, you can. I'm not really gonna go into too much detail because it's not really about the game. It's just about him as a guy. You've got a few more paragraphs here, but this is his quote. He goes, being on the cover of FIFA is a dream come true. From my time at Bondi to Clairefontaine to the World Cup, this marks another big milestone. I've been playing this game since I was a kid, and I'm honored to represent a whole new generation of footballers and be in the same group as many other amazing footballers who I now share this honor with. There's a nice image there of Mbappe as well. A bit more info about this guy as well. And then you've got the pre-order stuff. So if you pre-order before the 14th, you'll get an untradeable Foot21 ones to watch item if you want that. And that's pretty much it about the FIFA website right there, about the cover star. So that was your FIFA 21 reveal. Let me know what you think down below of anything that we spoke about today. Make sure you check out this FIFA video. Hit the card in the middle. It'll take you right there. I'll see you next time.